My dearest friends, thank you for staying with me for the past four weeks. With your combined support, we have thus completed the reviews of the five cartridges in Group A. Grado Black and Gold Ring Elan are the joint champions in Group A. Now it is the time to move on to our Group B cartridges, each within the price range of 90 to 120 US dollars. They are the Audio Technica AT120EB, the Gold Ring Electra, the Grado Green, Nagaoka MP110, Autophone 2M Red, Shure M97XE, and the Sumiko Black Pearl. First to kick off this series is the Sumiko Black Pearl. Treble is refined, extended, and very well done. Simple sounding, delicate, and detailed. Not a hint of edginess to it. Where? Bass. The black pearl shows great control over here and it reproduces a good amount of details from bass numbers. However, low frequencies do not go deep and dynamics are also curtailed. So things are just not impactful and punchy enough. A bit too polite. Range. This is where the black pearl falters terribly. There is a clear mid range suck out, a depression. You get a choking feeling when listening to it. This is unacceptable because music ceases to be enjoyable. I can't forget the night I met you this friend. Yeah. Oh, light. Who will comfort me? Harmonics are also held back. Things get pretty flat, dull and uninvolving. This would be a short review and I really do apologise that up against the other 6 cards, the Black Pearl has to come in last among this group B of 7 cartridges. The Black Pearl's mid-range drops is so bad that it destroys the whole musical performance and the harmonics are really flat. I can't say anything more, not recommended, it is not an enjoyable card. Again, apologies to the Sumiko Black Pearl. We will unravel more next week, so thank you very much my dearest friends for staying close by. I'm working hard on this project and I really want to continue doing my best for all of you. See you friends, see you.